Hello world, free thinkers, builders of the future, brothers and sisters. We are anonymous. Because many of you seem to think the very fact of our existence is indeed rather confusing, we would like to take this opportunity to elucidate to you what it is anonymous and does exactly, what it means we are anonymous, what it is we're aiming at, and what is our ontological status. Now first and foremost, it is important to realize that anonymous, in fact, does not exist. It is just an idea, an internet meme, that can be appropriated by anyone, anytime to rally for a common cause that's in the benefit of humankind. This means anyone can launch a new ideological message or campaign under the banner of anonymous. Anyone can take up a leading role in the spreading of the anonconsciousness. Whether or not these appropriations are legitimate is decided by the rest of the internet citizenry, if the majority of the public agrees with a proposed appropriation, then the public will act, if the majority of the public disagrees with a proposed appropriation, then the public will protest and label the message in question as illegitimate and thus not representative of the values of Anonymous. This makes Anonymous the first truly democratic endeavor in the world. It is a beehive where the queen is missing, yet buzzing with activity in every possible form, direction, shape and color one could possibly imagine. This does not mean, however, that there can't be bad actions presented as coming from Anonymous. Just as with bad speech though, we believe the solution to these issues is not less speech, but more speech, not less, or restrictive, action, but more, and constructive, action. Anonymous believes the only legitimate form of power is that power which rests on widespread public consent, and so there is not one person or group of people who can ever claim to be anonymous. Some may say that it's anarchism, liberalism, communism, libertarianism, etc. Others say it's nothing but a bunch of 12-year-olds from 4CHA and having fun on the internet. Anonymous is none of those, yet it encompasses elements of all these things and many, many more. Anonymous is the people and the people is anonymous. Anonymous is anything and everything, anyone and everyone, anywhere and everywhere. Moreover, anyone taking part in the actions of anonymous endeavors to defend an idea through anonymous collective action, and not to promote themselves as some kind of hero or savior of the world. Anonymous, therefore is not about personal achievement and recognition. It is about accomplishing goals for the betterment of humankind, together, as a species. The internet has changed the way we look at each other and the world. New technology has enabled people to communicate faster and more often. Anonymous realizes that this freedom of information makes people more free to decide what they like or disagree with. This freedom of information has forever changed how society perceives consensus, democracy, transparency, and freedom itself. Never before has society been able to have these debates 24 hours a day, at all locations at the same time. Anonymous applauds these developments and will defend humanity against anyone willing to take this newfound freedom away. We do not forgive censorship, and we do not forget that knowledge is free. Moreover, we are legion, so we will not be denied. The more they repress us, the more we will fight back. Because we are more than one. Because they can find and persecute one man or woman fighting for a cause, but not hundreds of thousands of people all across the globe, fighting for a more just and transparent society. Now please take up your personal responsibility. Show the world some loving and be anonymous. We are anonymous. And so are you. Knowledge is free.